Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I thought I'd do a quick video on the difference between uh, Denso Iridium Power Spark Plugs and NGK Iridium Spark Plugs. First of all, why would you fit Iridium Spark Plugs? Well, the center electrode uh, is much harder than Platinum. Uh, platinum Spark Plugs, well, this should be cha changed like every year, 12,000 kilometers, whatever it is. In my experience, uh, Iridium spark plugs, the central electrode, does not wear um, at all. If anything, the conductor on the top of the plug will wear before the, the, the actual electrode itself. So what you may need to do with the, um, with the NGK spark plugs, the Iridiums, is basically just re-gap this piece down to the electrode because this bit actually wears away not the electrode on platinum it's the other way around this gets smaller and then when that happens you need to change the plug but on iridium because it doesn't wear you can just recap it keep on using it in my experience you can use ngk in a normal engine you can use ngk iridium for many 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 years and also when you're using iridium spark plugs you don't need to worry about the gap getting bigger because the electrode is is um is is uh, degrading if you like so you might have you fit platinum the new platinum spark plugs and then after 12 months you go to change the spark plugs and you can see that the gap for example it was 0 0.8 millimeters when you fitted the plugs but when you come to change it maybe the gap has gone out to sort of 1.2 1.4 millimeters which puts bigger stress on the um, on the ignition system and maybe the car is not performing as well as it should be or as well as it could be but with iridium, you can bang them in, and you can be, you can be sure that well on a normal engine again. I'm not talking about big boost turbo, what have you, race engines. Generally speaking, you can be confident that the gap is where it should be, and you know maybe every one or two years, maybe you need to recap them slightly. But I've seen platinum spark plugs. You come to change them after a, after a year, and like I said, maybe the gap has gone from 0 0.8 to 1.2, 1.4. Maybe you got a huge gap at the end. Uh, and basically, it's a bit of a pain, you know, having to check check the electrodes to to make you know just to make sure that the gap is what it should be. So this is why I recommend iridium. You get better performance because the gap is more consistent, so you get more consistent performance, and they last much 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 longer than than platinum for me i would never fit platinum spark plugs anymore it's iridium every time for me so back to this video what is the difference between ngk iridium and uh, denso iridium so like i said ngk iridium this electrode will last for absolutely years with to my eyes very little if any degradation in the electrode so in theory you could NGK could fit a finer point on this electrode. Why are you fitting a finer point? Well, the theory is the thinner the electrode, the easier, easier it is to have a spark to cross the gap. So you give the um, ignition system an easier time. Um, and because it's having an easier time, if it needs more power, it's got some in reserve. So basically, like I said, the thinking is the smaller the better. Because the NGKs um the electrode doesn't weigh like i said you could make it thinner and this is exactly what denso does so as you can see the denso electrode is much smaller than the much narrower than the ngk spark plugs i would say it's probably uh, around 30 percent uh, narrower compared to the um compared to the ngk will you notice this difference probably not on the road um and you know the the they will last um probably just as long maybe the the iridium power will not last as long as the ngk because the uh, the iridium electrode is slightly smaller but like i said you can use the ngk iridiums for many 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 years anyway so maybe you know it's not so much of a loss to make them narrow maybe the manufacturing is more expensive if you make the electrode thinner i'm not sure uh, for sure, if you're going to be recapping the 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 conductor at any point, then I would say you definitely need to take more care uh, with the Denso because it is a finer point. You need to take care anyway, generally speaking, but especially so on the Denso because it is such a narrow narrow conductor. 
Um, so that is one thing to bear in mind. Generally, I would say, just from the fact that the the, uh, the conductor is that m a little bit thicker, I would say the NGK is a more rugged plug. And then I would say that the en the Denzel Iridium power is um, less, is more focused on ultimate performance uh, compared to the NGK. Like I said, would you notice a difference? I'm not sure you would. Um, one thing that, that could be is that bigger heat ranges with the Denso, we can go up, this particular one is like a BKR6, and then these go up to uh, BKR9, and then from that you're going into race plugs, but BKR8, BKR9 generally is the, is the coldest plug available in NGK. But the, NG, the Iridium power, it goes from IK24, and then it goes up to IK36, you know, it goes, there's a much bigger heat range, uh, with the Iridium power, which would I recommend, for example, for a daily driver? The NGK Iridium is slightly cheaper, um, and given that you're probably not going to notice the difference, um, I will go with the NGK Iridium. Uh, why not? Um, if you're not too, if you're not too bothered about the ruggedness, then obviously get the Iridium. If you feel that like your ignition system is on the limit, like you, you know you put in a lot of boost through the engine, you're demanding a lot from the ignition system and you feel that your ignition system is having a tough time or the components in the um, in the in your ignition system are not lasting as long as they should be, then every little bit will help in uh, giving the, the ignition system less of a load and to do that then, you know, spend a bit extra and get the Iridium power. The theory is, like I said, that the, the narrower electrode makes it easier for the ignition system to, to cover that gap. And that's the video, guys. So if you're wondering what the difference was between NGK Iridium spark plugs and Denso Iridium power spark plugs, that's it. Um, obviously, the sizes are the same because they've got to fit the same engines, but the difference comes down to the, down to the electrodes. The NGK is a fatter, if you like, more rugged, um, spark plug, the NGK Iridium Power, uh, the Denso Iridium Power, sorry, more, as the name suggests, more focused towards power, so you've got a narrower electrode, which can, which makes it a little bit more fragile, you've got to be careful if you're going to be recapping this after a few years or months or whatever it, you need to do for your car, um, but that's the difference, it's the electrode, guys, um, power difference, like I said, it all comes down to the stress that your ignition system is under. If you feel your ignition system is close to the limit, then, you know, every little bit will help. So that's the video, guys. NGK Iridium versus uh, Denso Iridium Power. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again next time.